So the postmaster, a fat and amiable fellow, also broke out laughing. That is the first line, okay, which comes in the previous page also. So I want you to read this uh, page number 6 before you listen to this. So make a pause, read the this page first, then listen to the audio. You have to do like that. Don't think that we don't see. You can do whatever you like. Please make a pause, read this uh, page number, read this page, then listen. Okay. So, uh, so the postman, he took the letter to the postmaster. So, he read that letter. He was a very fat, amiable fellow. Amiable, see the meaning is given in the uh, previous page. So, he uh, almost broke out laughing. He laughed. But he suddenly uh, turned uh, serious and he thought, uh, he tapped the letter on the desk and he thought, see, uh, what faith, isn't it? How much faith Lenjo has that he has written a letter to God. I wish I had the faith of the man who wrote this letter. Starting up a correspondence with God. See, that is something. See, we also, say some people, they talk to God. Okay, some people talk to God. They feel that God is hearing everything and they make a conversation with God. And here, what has Lencho done? He has made a correspondence with God through a letter. Okay, so starting up a correspondence Communication. Correspondence means communication with God. So, he did not want to shake the writer's faith in God. See, he has believed, such belief in God. He has written a letter to God. So, he did not want to shake that faith. He wanted to hold up that faith. So, the postmaster, he suddenly made up an idea. So, um, answer the letter. So, what did he do when he opened it? It was evident that to answer it, he needed uh, something more than goodwill ink and paper see when you get a letter you have to write a reply to that letter so what all things do you need to uh, write the reply you need a paper you need ink uh, and you need a pen and also you need some goodwill because he is writing the reply uh, for a letter which has been sent to God okay and he has something he is needing something more he needs something more what is that what has Lencho asked to God? He had asked 100 pesos. So, is paper enough? No. Is ink enough? No. So is goodwill enough? goodwill enough? No. What else is needed? 100 pesos are needed. But he uh, stuck to his resolution. So, he had made a resolution. He has made a um, firm decision that he will do it. Okay. So, he asked the money from his employees. He himself gave a part of his salary. And several friends of his were uh, obliged to give something for an act of charity. So, they were obliged. That means, they, it was their duty. They, they should uh, pay that. So, like that, all the people uh, uh, gave some money as a charity. It was impossible for him to gather together the 100 pesos. So, he was able to send the farmer only a little more than half. So, uh, when you read the letter, you will understand that he could only send 100, sorry, 70 pesos. He put the money in an envelope addressed to Lencho and with it a letter containing only a single word as a signature, God. So, he collected the money which was more than half what Lencho had asked for and he wrote a letter only at the end what had been signed, God. So, hope, let us check how much you have understood. Uh, who or what did Lencho have faith in? Lencho had faith in God. Okay, what did he do? He wrote a letter to God. Who read the letter? The postmaster read the letter. What did the postmaster do then? He decided to write a reply and when he read the letter he understood that more than a reply some money is also needed. He collected the money from his employees and sent, uh, uh, sent, put it in an envelope addressed to Lencho. The following Sunday, Lencho came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him. It was the postman himself who handed the letter to him, while the postmaster, experiencing the uh, contentment of the man who had performed a good deed, looked on from his office. So, next Sunday. So, one Sunday he posted the next letter. Next Sunday he came to find out whether any letter has come from God. So, the postman himself gave the letter. So, the postmaster who was watching all this, he had the contentment, he had the satisfaction that he had sent something uh, good. So, he was waiting to see the reaction of Lencho. Lencho showed not the slightest surprise 
on seeing the money such was his uh, confidence but he became angry when he counted the money god could uh, could not have made a mistake nor would he have denied lenjo what he had requested so see what we will think when lenjo sees a letter from god he will be surprised he will be very happy but nothing su- uh, such hap- such nothing like that happened he was uh, he was not at all surprised that was the confidence of lenjo but when he counted the money he became angry so he knows that god can never make a mistake okay and uh, god would never deny he would surely give what lenjo had asked for he would never deny what lenjo had requested for so immediately lenjo went up to the window to ask for paper and ink on the public writing table he started to write with much wrinkling of his um, bro uh, caused by the effort he had to make to express his ideas when he finished he went to the window to buy a stamp which he licked and then affixed to the envelope with a blow of his fist okay so what did he do he went to the window and uh, he asked a paper and pen and then he wrote a letter again he is expre- again writing a letter to god so you can see from his bro i bros how much he was trying to collect uh, his ideas and to put it in the paper and when he finished what did he do he brought a stamp and he licked the stamp and he with a blow of a fist he pasted it on the envelope so see uh, what was lenjo's expression when he received the letter from god was he surprised no he was not surprised and what was one emotion that he had when he counted the coins he was very angry yes he was very angry he uh, did he believe that god must have made a mistake no god will never make a mistake okay but uh, he knows that he also knows that god will never deny what he had requested for so there is some problem so he is writing another letter to god and he wrote that letter to god we will see what happens 